Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today we're going to do a review on the K18, the Air, Air Wash Dry Shampoo and the Day Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. We're going to put them to the test and see which one um, looks better. Now, to be fair, I have been testing these out for about two weeks or so, so I kind of already know which one I like, but I feel like if you have different hair needs, um, one probably would be better than the other for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first, this is about three day old hair. Um, I don't have any product in it currently. My hair is extremely oily though. Um, if I wash my hair by the end of the day, it's already oily. And so um, I do have to continuously, like every day, put um, some product in it. And that way um, I don't have to wash it every day. I typically do wash it about every three days. And so this would be a wash day. But I wanted to really just show you um, how well these worked on like very oily hair. So if you didn't um, want to wash your hair on day three, we're going to test it out and see how it looks. So, um, on one side, I'm just going to go in with the day and the other one, I'm going to go in with the K18 and then you guys can kind of just compare. Like I said, I've already tested both of these out. So I know which one I like the most, but I'll wait to the end to tell you and, um, you can see the results for yourself. So starting out, we're going to go on um, the left side with the day and the right with the K18. So let me just separate my hair out just a bit here so I can make it kind of even. Okay. So with the day, you do have to shake it up and be careful because this is not the lid. This is the lid. And I did not know that at first. And I took this part off on accident and uh, spilled most of it. So um, don't do that. <laughs> okay. So you want to shake it really good. And it did take me a while to get kind of good at this. Now this one does have kind of a learning curve to it because the dust will squirt everywhere or puff everywhere. Um, since it is like a powder consistency like that, it looks just like baby powder. It smells incredible. So I thought at first I could just get some on my hands and put it through my hair, but I don't feel like that really does a good enough job. And so I just started to kind of separate my hair where it needs it the most and just get whoop about, eh, spray <laughs> and I let it sit so I just kind of take sections you don't need a whole bunch you really don't because this very much um, spreads throughout your hair pretty well so I just kind of spray it I like the root I'm trying to keep it from getting on that side and then I kind of just go in and fluff through it with my hands I know they have a brush that goes with it that you can brush it in with but I think your hands do just as well so if you don't want to splurge on the brush because I think it's like $20 or something like that your hands work just fine so I'm just gonna go and smooth it out so I don't know if you can see a difference obviously this side of my hair is more voluminous but I also have been messing with it but I do feel like the um, powder side does make it a little bit more fluffier um, than the K18 does I will note that when I do it but the only thing is it is pretty gritty in your hair um even like combing through it pretty good and sometimes like i'll go in with my comb and kind of go through it just so it's like really evenly distributed throughout my hair and i'll take my brush and like comb the rest down into my hair it does work really well i do love it a lot and so you can see i'm trying to show you it doesn't leave like any residue you can still tell from like this side, I just have dandruff. <laughs> Embarrassing. Anyway, that um, the oil from like, if you can see before, it's pretty much dissolved. Um, it just kind of leaves that gritty texture, but I think that's how you get the volume. So I don't hate it, but using this a few days in a row can make your hair very like textured and just not feel clean. So let's go ahead and move on. So I just want to show you again. This is the day dry shampoo side. So moving right along, we're going to go over to this side with the K18. So it is a spray. I'm going to shake it up really good. Be careful because this will come loose really easily. 
Um, I've had it to where it's came off twice now where I have to keep tightening it. So just be careful. I don't know if mine is just that way or they're all that way, but just a word of warning. So um, it looks like they say hold the bottle four to six inches away from your scalp. Um, one spray per section, increasing up to three sprays per section as needed. Massage in and brush, massage in and brush or style as usual. So now let's go ahead and take this side and I'm just gonna do it because the like the inside of my hair gets the oiliest. So I'm just gonna spray one big spray like that. It does smell good as well. As far as the smell goes, this is a much lighter scent. So I do like that, but I mean, the day is also, it's very scented, but it's a really nice smell. So I don't hate either one of the smells. This one just gives like a more clean, fresh scent where this one's like really fragrant. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take here, one big spray, and then I'm just gonna do one on the top to get everything. So I'm just gonna kind of let that sit and soak in. So for this one, I really do like the spray because it doesn't feel as heavy in my hair. So on a like wash day, whenever at the end of the day, I will, I like to use this one because it still makes my hair feel like I just washed it, it's clean. On like this side to where it's got that grittiness to it already. So I actually prefer the day on like a two or um, three day, um, hair day, whereas I like the K18 for like just fresh wash hair or end of the day hair that just needs a little bit of a revive. So I do actually use them in conjunction to each other. So um, they're both really great products. The day is, I believe, $30 and this one like retails for $30 and this one, um, I'll have to look and see how much it retails. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember, but I know it's pricey, I think. 40 something dollars so quite the significance however these are supposed to last way longer than any of the aerosol sprays that you can buy so i like the batiste one the best like i've been using that for years and years and years and i love it love it so much however once i have started using these i do feel like my hair looks and feels a lot healthier um that's just my personal opinion i don't know if it's just um, me thinking that I'm way more expensive products gonna make my hair look better. But in honesty, I really do like um, not having to spray aerosol. I really don't even use um, hairspray or like texture sprays just because I don't like the use of aerosols. Um, but anyway, you can see on this side how it's not as voluminous, I feel like. Like you can see kind of this side is a bit more but it just has that clean feeling. It doesn't have that gritty texture. Like I can run my hands through it, but on this side, it's like that. You can kind of feel like it's a bit different. However, I do love both. So for hair needs, I feel like if you have extremely oily hair like I do, you're gonna like the day a little bit better because I feel like it's gonna work longer for you. Because honestly, I can put this in in day two and not have to use it on day three. Day three. Um, it does work incredibly well for oily hair. It does absorb the oil. It does absorb the smell. Um, so I do highly recommend this for really oily girls. I do recommend this if you have drier hair or just need like a little bit of a refresh. You want your hair to feel refreshed and clean still. Now having oily hair, I still would buy this again. I still would recommend it to oily hair girls. I would just Feel like you would have to use it every day whereas the day one you could use it every other day and still have plenty of that whoops still have plenty of that um texture and the oil absorbingness throughout so those are my thoughts and i'll let you just look one more time i'm gonna go ahead and like fix the front i'm gonna spray this in the front just to kind of get those roots because I didn't want to but you can see that just feels like really clean it's like a soft it's like <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like spraying water on your hair but like mm. but yeah you can make this side voluminous for sure with it so let's take our comb and kind of so if you want that big Texas girl hair 
you definitely could do it with either product. This would be a very good like texturizing um, dry shampoo as well. It says it absorbs oil, add volumes, and extends style. So, I mean, if you want to just use it for texture, like to build up your hair, it would be excellent for it. And it also doubles as like a dry shampoo. But since we are on day three here, she is probably going back into a ponytail today. Um, I have a tumbling track coming in. And so I'm going to do some um, videos with my tumbling track um, and a review on that as well. Um, I like to do other things besides hair and beauty. So if you see anything um, that you are interested in, let me know and I will see if I can review it for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.